The Commodore 64, now in a home family pack. A family pack containing the world's number one selling home computer. Chucky Egg is a single screen platformer. Sort of like Miner 2049er, or the arguably even more legendary Manic Miner. But it would be very remiss of me not to mention Donkey Kong and Frantic Freddy as the genre's true initiators. Anyhow, Chucky Egg still holds an importance in Commodore 64 gaming history. Your mission, as the oddly stretched Hen House Harry, is to gather all 12 eggs from each of the game's screens, while avoiding contact with the roaming hens. Each level made of solid platforms, a bunch of ladders and occasional lift platforms that move constantly upwards until it reaches the top of the screen and loops back from the bottom. The game has a time limit, within which you are supposed to collect all the eggs, but there are also piles of birdseed you can collect, which stop the timer for a while. Mind you, the hens are also able to eat the birdseed, so you have to keep an eye on the timer, at least later on. While landing on a platform from a big drop doesn't harm you, the hens will, as will a fall to the very bottom of the screen and riding the lift to the top of the screen will squish you to the ceiling. Chucky Egg is a platformer from the time of all the great original platformers, so there is nothing difficult about its controls. Left and right directions make Harry walk left and right, and up and down will make him climb ladders whenever he's near one. The fire button will make Harry jump on the spot, or if you're walking in a direction simultaneously, he will jump into that direction. There is something about Chucky Egg that feels rather advanced though, as you can latch onto a ladder from mid-jump, and you can also jump off a ladder at any spot you wish to. An interesting thing I discovered is that once you have completed your first run of the eight screens, the duck that was locked inside of the cage for the first run will be freed, and you will be pursued by it. What's a real pain in the backside is that the platforms will not affect the course of the duck, but at least the hens don't pursue you on the second run. These will only return if you're lucky enough to complete this game for a third run, or obviously lose all your lives and start the game again. Chucky Egg's library of sound effects consists basically of seven different sounds. Harry's walking, climbing ladders, jumping and falling, a different noise for both picking up eggs and corn, and finally, counting the bonus scores from the leftover time. Admittedly, all of these sound effects are very nostalgic for me considering the game's age. Very similar to Miner 2049er, come to think of it. Chucky Egg was one of those games everyone had, everyone liked, and nobody had a bad word to say about, but nobody got excited about. There's nothing at all pretentious about this game. It's a good, solid arcade action, which follows a tried and tested formula, which proved very successful for the earlier Commodore 64 games. If Chucky Egg deserves credit for one thing, then that would be that the controls are as sharp as a knife. Delicate hops, deft jumps, and evasive action are very much the order of the day, as this is definitely one for the platform jumper enthusiast. Just make sure you don't get pecked to death or fall down a lift shaft. Chucky Egg has earned itself a special place in the heart of many UK gamers, and if you've never played this before, then I'd say give it a whirl. Thanks for watching, guys. Your continued support is massively appreciated. If you could please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and let me know what you thought of the game in the comments section. Also, if you are enjoying the Commodore nostalgia, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel to follow me on this epic journey revisiting classic games just like this. Thanks once again, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, bye for now. Just want to take a moment to thank the following patrons. It's massively appreciated that you're supporting the channel, covering the games we love. Stay retro.